But God says it's time for us to tell that money, you don't belong to the wicked. You belong to us. And I want you to get in the right place. Money coming to me now. What is the plan? What are we trying to do? I'm confused. If you know, just let me know in the comment section down below. We are selling everybody at the moment. Kai Havet out, Manson Mount out, Kalium Hasunadoi out, all the Champions League winners out, Ngolo Kante probably out. And what are we trying to do? And we are signing also many youngsters from all over the world. We are splashing cash. What is the plan? So you see Chelsea right now. You see this picture here. Represent Chelsea Football Club board and Chelsea fans. Including me. Every day we want a new toy. We got that new toy. Tomorrow we want another toy. Without using even the first toy. So finally what is going to happen we can't create any kind of team we don't have any kind of chemistry or any kind of future because you change all the time hey guys my name is Oggs. don't forget to like subscribe and share only one click away my friends and you all set let's go Anyways, my people, so news are coming from all over the world, from the right, from the left, from the center. Every 10 minutes you have news, so you don't even know what to believe anymore. But let's start by Ngolo Kante to Altiad, Altihad, okay? That is the team that Karim Benzema is going to sign in a few days from now because he already announced his departure from Real Madrid, right? So Ngolo Kante could be the next guy to join him there. It makes sense. Chelsea haven't signed him yet. He's going to be a free agent in a few days from now. Contract out. Chelsea gave him a contract. He accepted it, but it looks like they took it off the table. So it makes sense that a Muslim brother moving to a Muslim county, uh, county or country, <laughs> county or country, Saudi is going to be a perfect match. But I think that he still has a lot of stuff to, to prove in Europe. He still got at least two quality years, but it looks like Chelsea are moving forward without Angolo Kante. So let me know. What do you think about the Ngolo Kante to Saudi? The names are a little bit complicated to pronounce. The name of the club, so I don't want to disrespect them. I'm going to say Saudi. And um, those youngsters that we are buying, if they play with Kante, if Kante is in the team, they might learn from him. Looking at Ngolo Kante, World Cup winner, Champions League winner, Premier League winners uh, two times, you know, it's discipline you. You know, but I don't know what Chelsea are trying to do. It is what it is, my friends. Anyways, let's move on and talk about. Uh, yeah, let, let let's stick on that midfield position, right? We have so many of them. What is the plan? Okay. We are going for Ugarte. He's going to be signing in the next coming days. We're going we're gonna to finish this video talking a little bit more about Ugarte. And then you have Moises Caicedo who's still on the list. And you still have Kano Galaga that people don't like, but probably the manager like. You have Chukwe Meka who is a midfielder, number eight from that free role. What are we going to do with him? Lewis Howe, also midfielder slash wing back. You know? And even even other positions, you know, like the front three. We have Omari Hutchison. We have Harvey Vell. We have so many of them. 
and we keep on buying what are we gonna do with them i have questions people listen this is a feel good factor every time we spend money it makes you feel good it makes you feel very good because we are in the conversation but when the reality start kicking in when they start performing on the pitch that is a different story so it's always good to spend spend but also good to use use kasade is the player of the tournament six goals for a midfielder he went on loan at uh, reading completely killed it over there when are we going to give him a chance andrew santos the same unfortunately they are out of the competition world cup u20 what is the plan for those those people we already have enzo who's going to stay there so if we bring casedo and we bring ugarte what is going to happen who's going to stay and who's going to leave the only saving grace i see here right could be if we buy other clubs like strasbourg or rio avenue or in portugal so we can send our players to our own team so they can develop in the same system instead of sending them on loan somewhere where they don't even have playing time and also next season it's going to be only seven loan allowed by uefa so it's going to be difficult for chelsea to loan people out so we have to sell or send them to our own clubs so i, I i'm i'm a little confused don't get me wrong i want to see caicedo i want to see ugarte but what next for the kids I, i call them kids but they are already men you know they are kids in body but they are men in term of football what are we going to do with them my friends let's move on so we already talked about the midfielders and we're going to move also a little bit and talk about James Madison uh Kai Havertz it looks like uh, he's moving Karim Benzema officially left Real Madrid and Kai Havertz is loved by Real Madrid Ancelotti and also the president Perez so if they give us 100 million or 80 million are you going to take the money and if we take the money should we go for James Madison he been he been uh, the name been circulating lately but i didn't take it seriously but today on sunday is picking up James Madison to Chelsea he's a premier league proven a goal scorer midfielder specialist on set pieces So what do you think about James Madison? Do you think Newcastle are going to beat us because they are in the Champions League or Arsenal are going to beat us? What do you think? Who should replace Mason Mount and also uh, Kai Havertz if they leave? My position is clear. I don't want to see Kai Havertz go. I think that we're going to regret. I think it's going to be what if moment always what if we gave him one more season? what if pochettino developed him i don't want to see him go but because i don't make decisions i will accept whatever the club and pochettino are going to decide so would you like to see james madison at chelsea football club people uh, have a bad experience about danny drink water some people say yes you know on this uh, this question here Many people say they are not sure. It's just like 50-50. Some people are okay, they think he's a perfect replacement for Mount and Kai Havertz. All right, people. So, let's finish this video by Ugarte because this is what people are here for, you know? So, Ugarte Fabrizio Romano said that today Sunday more discussions are going to happen between George Mendes, Chelsea Football Club and Ugarte Camp. Chelsea consider the deal now at advanced stages. Some people on Saturday say it was closed deal, it was done, 
he's a Chelsea player, but Fabrizio Romano being more cautious about it, discussions still going on, but it looks like he chose Chelsea Football Club instead of PSG. So expect in the next coming hours or days, or by the time you watch this video, Ugarte could be announced as a Chelsea player. I'm happy about it, but I'm not really going to set a lot of expectations because I, I found a lot of flaws on this brother that need to be improved. It's the Premier League, new manager, new country, driving in the wrong side of the road. <laughs> All that count, right? So let's wait and see what's going to happen. And Fabrizio Romano went to say there is no discussion about swap deals or send somebody alone because I heard that Rufo Fana could be involved or Andrew Santos or Casade, but Fabrizio Romano said it's going to be a clear deal player only you know from them and not us sending anybody alone or swap deal or anything so let me know in the comment section down below what you think and don't forget to like subscribe and share God bless you. Think outside the box and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.